Lucas Media, so we got breaking news. And that is reports are coming out that Skip Bayless will be leaving Undisputed this summer, according to SI.com, after eight years. Now, Skip has signed a four-year, $32 million deal to stay with Fox in 2021. So, obviously, he's still got another year left, so they're probably going to buy him out. Now, it says that ESPN has interest in signing, re-signing Skip Bayless. Let me, let's be honest, man. When Shannon Sharp left, it was over for Skip. Skip lost. He lost everybody. He lost everybody when he went in on Shannon Sharp the way he did. Didn't even apologize. Came on and said Shannon Sharp is his fierce competitor. Skip, he forgot. He didn't realize the world revolved around him. I mean, he believes the world revolved around him. Even with Stephen A, right? When Skip had Stephen A, Stephen A helped keep that show afloat. Then you get Shannon Sharp when you go to FS1 and start Undisputed. And Shannon became a star. And you could see by the numbers. People care more about what Shannon had to say than what Skip did. And even when they both did a podcast thing, Shannon podcast had exploded prior to him and Skip getting into it. And part of me feel like that is one of the reasons why Skip felt some kind of way. And then you embarrass this man on national TV. You don't apologize. You don't back down. Darvin Hamlin ended up heart stopping on the field. You you make a tweet basically saying like so what just the end of the game that's that's it and I'm paraphrasing so what happened Shannon start Shannon Sharp stops uh, protest the show allegedly the next day then the day after that they get into it and you just seen that that was the that was a downfall then what happens right Shannon Sharp ended up leaving for whatever reason Fox thought that Skip was gonna carry the show and then they, you got Michael Irvin you got Richard Sherman and I knew from the gate go back and watch one of my first videos it wasn't gonna work. It wasn't going to work. And it's no knock against Michael Irvin. No knock against Richard Sherman. No knock against Keyshawn Johnson. But I knew it wasn't going to work. Then you had Wayne go up there. And, you know, Yeah, Wheezy. Wheezy. You got Wayne, Lil Wayne up there talking about sports daily. Or on, on Fridays or whatever. Come on. Nah, no, nobody wants to hear from Lil Wayne. No disrespect to Wayne. He wanted the goats when it comes to rapping on the mic. But nobody wants to hear Lil Wayne talk about sports like that. Then you bring in Paul Pierce. Now, people thought Paul Pierce may be able to to carry it on like i said you see skip he kind of toned down as well but people don't want to work with him people don't want to work with him and it's apparent now so i'm sure that if espn come back uh have him come i wouldn't be surprised if he goes on first take you know maybe some maybe to talk about a little bit little of that but i mean the proof is in the pudding man skip used to be well let me just say this skip was the person that he always went a little too far y'all remember when he called bosh bosh pice and Kyle, I should have been a bowler, and Russell Westbrook to where Russell Wils Westbrook. I'm, I'm about to think about Russell Wilson. Russell Westbrook kids were saying that he was getting tired of. They were getting made fun of, and like he's always trying to humiliate these athletes. But now podcasting it came out, and the athletes have now officially turned on Skip. See, Skip was supposed to be one of the cool guys, you know what I mean, one of the cool old guys. But people are now seeing, you know, what he really was. To a lot of people's eyes but no i'm not surprised by this man life moves on sports moves on even skips his podcast thing that he got it just wasn't it, it wasn't it wasn't all that he just reading like he skip needs the culture and the culture has turned on him but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it do y'all feel sorry for skip tell me what y'all think